right, so I'm gonna strip this. This is the uh, CIS or continuously continuously injection system something. I don't know. I, I don't even know what this is. I'm gonna be reusing this because again, budget build and it's reliable, I think. Um, but what I wanna do is try to pull all these runners off and I wanna send those out to get powder coated as well. Um, I'm gonna zoom in here and show you the condition of some of this stuff. So these, these runners are attached to this primary box here with these rubber sleeves and all of them are cracking apart. Um, I got new ones, but yeah, you can just see pretty much the rubber on this car in general is just disintegrating. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know what all these little parts are, but what I tried to do was just document it really well with my GoPro. Um, that way when I put things back together, hopefully uh, it, it still works. So when I was taking these intake runners off, I just didn't know what this big clump of metal was here for. It didn't seem to really do anything. This is on um, cylinder number four. And what I realized was this is just a shared casting with cylinder number three. And they drill and tap this thing um, to mount something. Anyway, I, I don't think it needs to be there and it's kind of ugly. So before I get these powder coated, I'm gonna try to cut this off and then on, I think it was cylinder number three. So there's another pair of runners that are swapped sides with the same tool. Um, this isn't needed either. And given that both of these random lumps are visible and are nothing but pointless weight, um, I'm gonna go cut them off and try to smooth it out. And then I'll get these things powder coated and yeah, we'll start uh, reassembling things. So this is a 1962 Craftsman bandsaw. Um, I try to keep all my tools really vintage because they'll outlive me. Uh, I don't know what blade is on here. I'm going to try it with the aluminum because aluminum is pretty soft.
So here's the end result. This is just brushed with a Dremel. Um, I could try to sandblast this area to try to get it to match the rest of the casting. On the other hand, um, this is what happens to it when you put it on a wire wheel. So this is pretty blingy, might match the fan. I could try to wire wheel all these things before dropping them off. So um, let me know what you think. All right, so what I'm doing now is um, I'm gonna be trying to remove these fuel injector inserts because I wanna get these things powder coated and I don't think they'll hold up to the temperature. Um, they are staked in place. This one looks like it might be coming out. Yeah. If you, if you can see, there's three little marks. That's just staking them in place. So what I need to do is take a Dremel. See this O-ring is rock hard. So gotta get all all six of these out. So to summarize, you just grind out these little nubs and then from the back just pound these out uh, with a, I was using a 10 millimeter um, Allen key and that's how you remove the uh, fuel injector seats on a SIS intake runner.